welcome to today's english class how do you do by the way how do you do is not a question it's a greeting like you do hi hello how are you remember that if i ask you what is the thing you like to do the most many of you would say playing right what games you like to play what sports you enjoy the most can you name some sports persons i know you started shouting the answers today i'll take you into the world of sports and games will you come along before we start let's see what you are going to learn from this class you will be able to understand the difference between sports and games identify some famous sports personalities appreciate the hard work achievements and endurance of athletes talk about the importance of sports and games for children now let's enter the world of sports and games i want to show you pictures of some famous sports personalities from india especially women let's see these pictures and get acquainted with some famous persons who made their place in the world of sports and games with their sheer hard work and endurance observe this who is this latest sensation in badminton who won olympic silver medal did you recognize her pv sindhu next one who is this badminton player from hyderabad Saina Nehwal Who is this tennis player from Hyderabad? You got her I think. Saniya Mirza Can you identify this boxer? Bollywood made a biopic on her life. Mary Kom. Who is this Olympic bronze medal winner? Sakshi Malik. this badminton player she is also seen in films jwala gutta who is this former weight lifter she is a telugu lady karanam malleshwari this chess champion again a telugu lady koneru hampi who is this track queen can you identify her she is the paoli express she is the golden girl Piti Usha
children were you able to identify some of the famous sports personalities how many could you identify now i'll show you a picture identify this famous athlete we have already seen her in the previous pictures who is she pt usha right Which sport is shown in the picture? Running. While I was talking about the pictures, you must have observed that I used the word sports. I didn't use the word games. Why do you think so? There must be a reason. Is there any difference between sports and games? I have a video for you explaining the same. Let's watch it. Sports and games. What is the difference? Let's see this. Cricket. There are two teams playing this. Hockey. Again, two teams. Kabaddi. Koko Football What did you observe Games are usually team activities like cricket hockey koko kabaddi football volleyball etc A person playing a game is called a player Let's see this Running long jump high jump tennis wrestling weightlifting archery what did you observe sports are usually individual activities like running long jump high jump wrestling weightlifting tennis archery etc a person playing a sport is called a sports person or a sportsman athlete i know you enjoy playing but do you know that sports and games are very important for children why here are some children playing let's see what they have to say Sixth class children seem to be playing a game. Children, hold on. Tanya, why are you playing this game? For health. Oh, nice. So nice. Hmm. Nahima, Enjoy. why are you playing this game? Enjoying. You are enjoying. Mm. Fine. Good. Good. Ramya, why are you playing this game? For health, energy, energy, health, etc., etc. Very nice. Very nice. Razia. to develop friendship you want to develop friendship yes. so that's why you are playing game fine any 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 answer any other answer from you 
Yes, Shweta, you want to say something? Friends. You want to make friendship? That's it? Very good, very good. Hmm. Children, let's watch one more video. Here also, children are playing a different game. Let's see what's that game and what they have to say. and etc. What are you, why are you doing this? Obey, obeying what? Rules. You are obeying. You want to learn obeying rules. Yes, you mean that? Fine. Very good. What about you Shiva? We learn coordination. You learn coordination. Coordinating with your friends while yes, playing teacher. games. Fine. Prakash, what do you say? We learn helping each other. You learn helping each other. Really good. Good. Moglaya, what do you want to say? Friendship. You want to make friendship? Yes. That's why you are playing games. Oh, oh, oh good, good, good. Uh, what about you, Babu? Understanding. Huh? Understanding. Understanding. So you want to develop understanding with your friends? Yes. That's the reason you are playing games. Okay. Overall, while you are playing games, what must you have? Team spirit. Team spirit. Team spirit. Yes, oh, fine. Good. Very well. Come on. Carry on. Okay, children. How was that video? Now, Let's see how we can talk on why sports and games are important for children. Here we have a classroom video where the children are seen sharing their opinions on the importance of sports and games. Let's watch the video. Children, do you like games? Yes! I will ask one question. Why sports and games are important for children? Teacher. I will ask. Akbar, stand up. Friendship. For maintenance, friendship. Okay, very good. Healthy. Healthy, very good. Next. Thank you, Tom. Stand up. Healthy. Healthy. Nice. Understand. Akbar, understand. Good idea. that video do you like it children were expressing their ideas and opinions on the importance of games and sports here these are some of the expressions we got from the children fitness health 
health, friendship, coordination, obeying rules and fair play, decision making, helping, enjoyment, team spirit, mutual understanding. Children, let's see these points once again. The first one, fitness. Playing sports and games improves your fitness. Don't you think so? What about your health? If you want to be healthy, you need to play every day. You need to eat good food. And when you are playing with your friends, what happens? The friendship improves day by day. And when you are playing games, you need to have a lot of coordination between you and your friends. And there is one more point, a very beautiful and interesting point, obeying rules, obeying rules and fair play. You need to obey some rules to be very fair, whether it is game, life or anywhere. And Another important point is decision making. Decision making is really very important, not only in the classroom, in the playground, in life, everywhere. Sometimes we need to make a decision, a proper decision. Helping, this is one of the most important thing for our lives. Children need to learn helping each other. I know you like to do that. You like helping your friends. You like helping poor people. You like helping the old people. Enjoyment. Finally, everyone likes this. We need enjoyment. We play games for enjoyment, entertainment. Team spirit. When you are playing as a team, when you are playing a game as a team, definitely there should be team spirit. Otherwise, what happens? You won't be working in coordination. You can't work for individual game. You have to work for team. That's why there should be team spirit. And finally, like in every relationship, even while playing games and sports, there should be mutual understanding between you and your friends. Children, don't you agree with me that all these things are needed? These are really very good points which we got from children like you. Children. Using these key expressions, you can talk on the importance of sports and games for children. Here, I am going to bring you a video. Let's watch a video where the children are talking about the importance of sports and games. Well done children, Shiva well done, you have really made it. I hope you had a nice time. Remember playing sports and games is also as important as your studies. Don't neglect. Good day children. Mm -hmm.